Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to be doing my everyday makeup routine. Um, I don't really do much. I just do like the basics. So I'm just going to do that. I'm not really going to explain much um, other than the fact that I just do what I do. Um, this video, I want it to be more of like a chit chat slash get to know me video. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm not really going to be doing like step by step like as into like what I'm doing to my face. It's more of like just doing my makeup while talking to you guys at the same time. So I really hope you enjoy it. So stay tuned, keep on watching and just get to know me. Um, so yeah, so what can I really say about myself? I, I don't really know like what people talk about here or like what people like say do they like tell you like just your life stories do they tell you like what's been going on because i feel like i do owe you guys like an explanation as to like why i've been gone for like about a month and um i mean the reason is because i've just been really 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 busy with school um it's my last semester or like my last school year in college and i'm graduating may 16th and i'm really excited um uh, my parents are going to come down from new york city just to um see me graduate and so are two of my cousins who have been like such a big influence in my college career in my college life whatever you know what i mean um so they're coming down to visit i mean um yeah to visit and to just like see me graduate because like i said for my parents it's like such a big deal because being first generation college student um they want to see me uh, they want to see me succeed and i guess for them it's more of like um it's more of like something that they couldn't do because they didn't have the opportunity to do this um so yeah so i have an older brother he's 25 i have a younger sister uh a younger sister um she's 15 and a younger brother who's 11 uh who's 12 my bad and um it's more of like i've been their role model um so it's more of like it's been a huge pressure for me to do well in school and to like stay in college as well and um let me tell you people like i know that college isn't for everyone and there are like there were times in which i was like i cannot do this anymore because college was way too difficult for me but um i always felt like i just didn't really have a choice you know like i was here in college i was really really far away from my parents and let me tell you like nothing you do like no matter how many college ready courses you take during high school um you will never be ready for college if you go away and that was my thing i had no idea it was going to be this difficult um and for me like it wasn't even the courses that was difficult for me for me the most difficult part was leaving my family behind and that's what i regret like i i don't regret it but at the same time i do think to myself like i wonder how my life would have turned out if i would have like just gone to college back in the city um because i came here there are like lots of things that have changed in my life um relationship wise like family wise and stuff like that um i certainly don't regret it just because when i look back i feel like these four years of just my college life have gone by so so fast and even now like i'm not really ready to leave yet just because all of my friends are here and all of my friends are pretty much like from all over um i have friends who are from chicago california um i don't really have friends who are from new york city and if i do have friends who are from new york city like we're, we're not close enough to the point in which we will hang out back at home um and i have friends like in maryland um virginia and 
I don't know, like for me, it's going to be a really um, big change, a really huge change. And that's what I'm like most afraid of is that once I come back to New York City, it's not that I'm not going to have friends because I, I, I do have like, I think I can like count like five to like 10 friends, but we don't always hang out. And um, I feel like because of time, like we've all pretty much, I, I, I don't want to say that we've all drifted apart because we kind of have, but then at the same time we make an effort to like just see each other and stuff. But at the same time, it's like we're all growing up like we're all grown-ups now and some people have like already made their lives with like just their with their significant others and um for me it's more of like adjusting back home just because i've i i've been here in college for the past four years i've been on my own um and when i mean uh, on my own i mean that i've been like living by myself without my parents like I do have an apartment mate here but it's like she doesn't cook for me and she doesn't clean for me it's like we each do our own thing whereas back at home it's gonna be a really difficult because um, I'm not gonna have that independence that I once had here and for me to not be able to like make my own food or like wash my own clothing maybe um wash well, well like wash it the way i want it to be washed um and here i've always had my own room whereas back at home i share room with my siblings and that's gonna be really difficult for me just because i'm so used to going to bed like at three four in the morning um and now my siblings of course they have a bedtime because they're still young and they're still in school and they need to wake up like at a certain hour every single day monday through friday so that's gonna be difficult and um i'm in the process of job searching like that was one of my biggest mistakes and if i could give advice to people it, it would be that if you are in college and if you are far away to start the job search right away like as soon as I just you enter your senior year start that job search girl because you will you might regret it later on when you have to move back into your parents room and to your parents room into your parents house um, for me my parents are happy that I'm moving back home um, just because like I've been gone for four years and the only time I, I would go home is for vacation or is for like holidays, but I've never quite lived back at home for a large period amount of time, like except for like just the summertime. But even then, I was working, so I wasn't really at home, and I, and I would go out with my friends a lot. So yeah, um, I'm in the process of trying to find my own place, trying to first get a job, of course. But yeah, but it'll definitely be a huge adjustment. Like I said, um, I'm not really sure how well I will adjust. Um, whether I, um, I, I really don't know you guys. Like that's one thing that's really, really scaring me. And my lease for this apartment ends June 5th and I graduate may 16th and um i spoke um i spoke to my parents about this already i i told them that i wanted to stay until my lease expires um they didn't really quite understand why i wanted to stay i just told them that that like you know like i paid for a whole month's rent i might as well get the best out of it um so they're coming for graduation but i'm like i won't be leaving with them um i will be staying with a suitcase and like my basic necessities but other than that they're taking everything back um so they don't really understand like why i'm not coming back home and i think i just need like a little time to like process that i've graduated and that i will pretty much um no longer be as independent as i was here and i don't know like for okay so for people who watch my videos and who have like gone through this is there like any advice that you would 
give someone like me who is going through this and i'm moving back to new york city um yes it's a huge city it's a very expensive city the cost of living there is not cheap and um this is why i regret not looking for jobs like much sooner because um now i'm in a situation where i'm just like what do i do with my life and how will i adjust back um so that's like my only worry i am really really happy that i will be back home because i'll be with my family of course finally um i did used to get homesick a lot but now it's more of like i'm going back home but i'm going back home for good like i won't be coming back here because there's no reason for me to stay here um and that sounds really bad but it's because i feel like i've had enough of this place um and pretty much um I just, I'm ready to start a new chapter in my life, but at the same time, I'm really, really scared as to how it'll all play out. Um, so that's, I think, like one of like my biggest fears. And um, yeah, I don't really know like what else to say. It's just that um, I've been really busy with just trying to like pass my exams and so that I can graduate, of course, because I kind of need to. That's kind of like why I'm here. Um, but I am officially done with finals. I just submitted my last computer science final um, Monday the 4th. And honestly, you guys, like I, I was done um, Sunday the 3rd. And um, the 4th was more of like, I just need to like click submit and it'll all be done and i did that around 10 a.m because let me tell you a story so my computer gave up on me um no like my computer did not give up on me my laptop charger gave up on me and so my project was in my laptop and i had no way to get it back so i, I had to start my project all over again like just the night before or like just the day before it, it was due which wasn't a big deal because i knew how to do this stuff i just didn't want to have like to like start it all over again but i did and i finished the project like at around 9 p.m and i finally submitted it so i had to go to the library the next day to like click submit and to make sure that everything was good to go because it was due at 12 p.m that day um so i did that and then yesterday since it was monday when i submitted at 10 a.m i didn't know what to do with myself i was like i'm done it was like a really big shock for me i was like i don't have anything to do and finals and this upcoming friday um the 9th I, I think friday's the 9th and i was like what do i do now it's more of like m my friends are still like stressing out about finals and i'm just here <laughs> alone and i'm just like um I don't want to say lonely because I can definitely like find things to do like yesterday I cleaned up the whole apartment I cleaned up the living room I cleaned up the kitchen the bathroom and then when I was done it was around three and I had to go run some errands and then once I came back I was like well what do I do and then I decided to go to happy hour at Starbucks which was really really good so I went with a friend because I told her to come with me and she wanted to go as well so we took like two hours just catching up because i had not seen her in a while so we talked for like two hours and that was really good and then um and then it was like seven o'clock um once i got no i think it was like 6 30 like once i got back and then after that i was like what do i do with myself so i i, I made a quick dinner um and then i just started being on my phone the whole time and i was like oh god um so that day was not bad i just wasn't used to like having so much free time like a whole day so that's pretty much all that i do i i do wear my hair down as well no matter how hot it is like i really like it when my hair is down um just because i don't know i i, I just do so yeah that's gonna be all for the video i 
went on a tangent. This video is like 20 minutes long, so I'm going to try to cut it out as much as possible. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions for me, just leave them down below. And if you have any video requests, please, please, please let me know because I'm going to be so bored this whole week and I would love to film for you guys. I just don't know what to film, so video requests down below and I'll do them, I promise asap i will see you guys don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram like just seven christina and please subscribe to this channel it means a lot to me and thumbs up this video like share comments you know all that jazz and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys